There's a 1958 Bell AM FM tuner, high fidelity, model 2520. These were made in Columbus, Ohio. I picked this up at the fall meet of the Indiana Historical Radio Society over the weekend. Uh, reasonable price, not great, but 20 bucks. So it's kind of a pumpkin colored. I don't know how well that will show up on the video, but it's definitely got some pumpkin stuff going on with it. Uh, nothing around the sides. Nothing on the bottom. Got four little uh, plastic feet there. Let's turn around and look at the back. All right, this is an eight tube radio. It has two outputs. A little internet research showed me that if your amplifier could handle two volts, you'd use the high level output jack. And if you're uh, it couldn't handle that, it got distortion, you would use your low level, which is 0 0.2 volts. And we have some antenna connections. There's the AM antenna. All right, we've plugged it into our light bulb here. Let's see if our light bulb blows up. No, that looks a lot brighter on camera than it did in reality. And it's dimming down real good here that I can see. You probably can't as the tubes warm up. So it looks like we're safe to turn it on. All right, I've screwed on a little dipole antenna I've got running up the wall here on the workbench. All right, some antenna in. We're going to start on AM here, turn it on. Um, I'm suspecting I probably have a light bulb burned out here. We'll have to check on that. So we're on AM. Oops. What I did not do was plug in an amplifier. All right, we're going to start with the low level. We're using a little uh, Radio Shack. I think it's a Minimus 08 speaker here. Since it's only mono. I don't get a lot of AM stations. Jessica Vaughn uh, from the Center for Immigration. Mostly sports at the higher end of the channel, the dial. Hi, this is Dante Moncrief. Andre, Andre's got to be out there. And they... This is not good. Uh, any back that's ever had. Sports on the AM, that's what I get. Sometimes I get some religious or Latino stations. Uh, they actually did a service because the only way for, I think, a lot of alcoholics to... Through the Bible. Yep. All right, let's go AF, FM, AFC. Their dentist thinks root canal is a place in Venice. Two molars are classified as optional. Wow, well, there. <laughs> FM's down here, by the way. If you didn't see that. I'm on AFC, so let's go off AFC. Check 
make it a little better there. Yeah, AFC does improve it. We'll help get you into the vehicle you want with annual percentage rates as low as 1.9%. Plus, at Indiana Members Credit Union, there's never a... Kids are grown. I I was a uh, I was a. Uh, That's right. Any dentist you want. Call in the next ten minutes and we'll rush you a free information kit with all the details. One 9887 That's one 9887 Get the money you need when you need it. Look, I'm trying to sell people on this thing by using things. See that if you bring your marks home. Well, the dial's right. That's the public station here. Exactly where it should be. So campaign funding. If you look at these House Freedom Caucus. College Classical Station, University of Indianapolis. Well, let's see if we can get the top off here and look inside. Looks like the tubes are all Sylvania's. I attempted to get the top off here, but it's hanging up somewhere and I can't quite tell where. Somewhere in the front. I. It might be one of those ones you have to completely undo the dial string to get into, and I don't want to do that. We've got eight tubes. What did I say? The ones I can see look like Sylvania's. Uh, based on research, there's a 6AB4 grounded grid FM RF stage. 12AT7 mixer oscillator and AFC tube, a 6BA6 FM first IF, a 6BA6 AM detector and a second AM IF, a 6AU6 FM limiter and AM detector, 6AL5 FM detector, 6BE6 AM converter, and a 6X4 rectifier. So, maybe someday I'll figure out how to get in there and change that light bulb. Well, that's the 1958 Bell 2520 AM FM tuner. Other than not being able to figure out how to open it yet and change that one light bulb, I kind of like it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.